Alright folks, here is an article that appeared in the New York Times. This is it kids, the actual article from the New York Times. This article is in reference to this gentleman photographed in this picture. He lives in Hokkaido, a northern island of Japan, in the northern part of Hokkaido, and he recently come across some graves, and the bones identified in these graves were Koreans. He says they're Koreans from the Second World War. They were forced laborers. They were forced into working for the Japanese. They died and that's where their bones are. I'm not going to debate whether that's factual or not. That's not the purpose of this video. But he was going to put a memorial to these Koreans in this area where the bones were located. And all of a sudden, according to this New York Times article, written by the New York Times Tokyo Bureau Chief, Martin Fackler, he received criticism. He received hate mail and emails and a lot of phone calls. Oh, he was being bombarded with criticism that he had to delay the project. Yeah, and you know who he was receiving all this criticism from? A group of Japanese on the internet, and they're called the Net Right. That's who did it. And there's a couple of thousand of them, according to this article, who harassed him, bombarded him. <laughs> and the reason why this group was given, how can you say, more energy, they received a lot of energy recently, was because the election of the Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe. Yeah! Anything goes wrong, according to these leftists in the New York Times, in Japan, well, it has to be because of the Prime Minister, because he's conservative. Just like him in the United States when President Bush was in office. If there were sunspots on the sun, George Bush! <laughs> if a hurricane hit Tasmania, George Bush! Yeah! And now that's what these, <laughs> what these leftists are doing with the Prime Minister of Japan. So they talk, he writes about that group, how it's responsible for harassing these gentlemen. Let's look for a little balance here. In South Korea, there's a group also of net citizens, and they're called Vank, V-A-N-K. There's not 2,000 of them, 75,000. Can you say that? And you want to know who else was recently attacked by them? Me! <laughs> they continually tried to breach the security of my Facebook page, and they were successful at one time. I received thousands of hateful messages from them, many of which were death threats, all of which almost began with the letters F-U, but not the letters, the full word. I, I don't say anything about Vankin here, but he goes on to write about how the Koreans are being picked on in Japan. Why in Nagasaki? Yeah, Nagasaki, where the second atomic bomb was dropped in Nagasaki. Some Koreans also were victim of that bomb. And he says here that the city had to delay putting up a monument to those Koreans. He wrote that right here, kids. Well, sheesh. Then I must be hallucinating. Or the, either that or this article was written before 1976. Because I was in Nagasaki. I was at the Peace Park. I was there last year, 2013. And guess what I saw? A monument placed there to memorialize the Koreans who perished when that bomb was dropped. It was easily to be discovered by Mr. Fackler here had he gone to the city's website. And it was right there. It didn't take much research to locate it. In addition to that monument, when you walk into the museum, there's dedication to those Korean victims also. So what is he writing about here? The New York Times is a discredited organization, and it sh everyone should view it as such. It's a shame that it has influence in this country among the other discredited people. All right, folks. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Nihon, Japan. See ya. Ha 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 ha!